Hi, welcome back to Card Week. Today is day six, and I thought after yesterday with all that stamping, I would go with a simple, easy card today with no stamping at all. So I'm using mostly the die cuts in the kit. So I have my card base, and I'm scoring that at four and a quarter. So this will be a standard size card at four and a quarter and five and a half. And that's the white card stock that comes in the kit. I used my little score buddy right there. And if you are a card maker, I think that is the best tool to have to do all your score lines and make sure everything is nice and even. I love that. So next, I grabbed a piece of vellum. And with that vellum, I'm going to score that and fold that over the top of my card. And that is just going to serve as a little background for my scene that I'm going to create on the front of my card. So I'm going to use my red line tape and adhere that vellum to the back of my card. This way, on the front of the card, you won't see any of the adhesive from the vellum. So now I'm just going to wrap that vellum around the top of the card. Pull off my red line tape and adhere that to the back of my card base. So now I'm all ready to create my scene on the front of the card. So what I have is this little frame that I cut out of patterned paper from the 6x6 pad. I also have this little bike that came in the ephemera pack from Fancy Pants Letter Collection and a little tag there that says Splendid. And so I'm gonna take my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher and I'm going to place a staple right on the top of that tag and that will be my little label. And then I'm gonna hook my bike through the frame so half of the bike is in the frame and half of the bike is outside the frame. So I'm just going to start adhering those little pieces down and that part of the bike and the frame is going to go on top of the vellum. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a few things behind the vellum to add a little bit of interest and show some definition between the front of the card and underneath the vellum. So just adhering that little bike down now, again halfway in and halfway outside of that frame. So the idea I had here was I wanted some things trailing behind the bicycle. So I either wanted to use the buttons or some of the sequins that came in the kit. And I just want those trailing behind the bicycle like it's leaving a little trail of happiness. So that was the idea behind the card. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to grab a few pieces of that from the sequins from the kit and I'm just gonna find them, arrange them behind the vellum. So I'm grabbing some of the turquoise stars and the, and the gold sequins and placing them behind the vellum on that card. So I just want it, again, to make sure that it looks like it's just trailing behind that bicycle. So once I find a good place for all those sequins, I'm going to go ahead and grab my multimedia mat in, from Ranger. And I love this adhesive because if a little bit squirts out outside of whatever you're adhering down, because it's matte, you don't end up seeing it. And that is the best part about this adhesive. I love this adhesive. So here I'm just, after I finish getting it all down, I'm going to make sure it's dry. And then I'm going to pull the vellum over the top and just make sure everything is in the right place. And once I make sure that that looks good, I am also going to take my tape runner and I'm going to 
adhere the top of the vellum to the cardstock. And I decided to do this because I felt like you couldn't see the sequins as well. So by adhering that vellum down, you could see the sequins a little bit better and then it wouldn't be moving around. So that's it for today. A super simple, easy card. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. In the comment box below, I will leave links to the previous days of card kits. And make sure you stop by tomorrow for day seven. And then also on Saturday for the online crop for World Card Day, there'll be giveaways and a hop around that day. So make sure you stop back by. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.